official morning, everybody. I'm going outside to show you guys what the outside looks like. The kids are already out here. Ready, set. Sister, she always tells me I'm not your sister. This is your coffee. <laughs> Somebody just dumped coffee there. We are walking to the kids' school to get free lunches. Well, not all the kids' school, my three kids' school, and some of the other ones, but they have free lunch program all summer long for kids up to 18 years old. Um, so we're gonna go get free lunch and eat outside. All right, we are, thank you, son, headed out to go get haircuts for the boys. Ryan's working from home, so I took it upon myself to leave Silas here with him. So that way we just go and come right back. Done with haircuts. We just got to the car wash. So let's get this car wash, and then I'll show you guys what the boys' hair looks like. All right, we just got back home. I wanna show you guys the outside progress of our turf laying right before I show you guys the boys' hair. They went inside to do something really quickly. I actually had them just freshen up because it looks like Malachi missed that freshen up memo before we left, so that's all right. It just looks like a whole bunch of nothing, but I will tell you guys this much. The gentleman that's been working, I brought him out coffee yesterday and today also we made him lemonade and all that fun stuff just to keep them, you know, hydrated and motivated because it's been hot out here but this is what we're working with i'm going in my neighbor's yard to show you guys because i hate dirt on my feet but this is what we're working with he leveled out this it's like three inches of dirt was taken and just piled up there and he moved all my plants today and washed all of my concrete area over there that looks like a hot mess right now but it's just gonna have to stay that way because I don't even know what to do with that area. But this is looking well. He also said he was gonna wash my rocks for me because I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do like a circle around the tree and that tree also, and we're gonna put river rocks in it, but we already own some. So that's gonna be kind of nice that we have that much already. And then we'll put the rest up there. But this is what we're working with. We're also doing the backyard too. And I kind of get shy vlogging, so I'm probably going to wait until later to show you guys what the backyard looks like because he's actually out there right now working on the backyard. Um, left Silas at home, like I told you guys earlier when we went to go get a haircut, so I'm going to go check in with my bubby. And then now I'll show you guys what the boy's hair looks like. Let's close my garage. Silas! Hi, buddy! Mr. Working from Home here. Wow, I missed that. Could you do it again? Yep. Ready? Wow. Did you dress yourself today? Yep. Good job. Nope. You know how I can tell you changed yourself today? Let me see. Because <laughs> you're backwards. I'm not. You're not? Okay, you win. <laughs> I told the bike shop. Oh my god, that was the cheesiest smile ever. <laughs> All right, so here's Mr. Jonah's hair. Turn, 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 turn. Nice. And your, hair is your hair didn't need to be cut today, so we're fine. Mr. Malachi, big reveal. Ready? Ladies and gentlemen, Malachi Tennant. Let me see. So he is obviously going for length in his hair hard part on this side hard part on that side and he's been doing a man bun lately or whatever we want to call it you like it all right buddy. Your legs are ashy. my legs are not ashy <laughs> we were gone for a whole half an hour maybe an hour at the most and this is how much they've missed each other my goodness is, my goodness is 
So yesterday, my neighbor's daughter took Malachi on Jonah's bike and Malachi went on his own bike over to the bike shop to get like a tune up and stuff because they had suggested that when we were buying that one thing for Silas like a month ago or so. Anyway, so the bike was gonna be ready today. So I called him today and I was like, hey, um, y'all said that the bike was gonna be ready at six o'clock. Any chance the bike can be ready sooner? Because six o'clock is our dinner time. So the guy called and he was like, on top of the $60 you guys are paying for a tune-up with the brakes and all of that stuff, there's, Ryan, what was it? Brake, brakes, brake system, the whole brake system. So he also needs a whole brake system. The guy called me and he was explaining it to me. I was like, can my husband call you and you tell him? Because I do not know the language that they were speaking. So anyway, so $60 for the tune-up and then another $30 for the front and the back. So $15, $15 each and a total of $30. The bike at this point in its life is less expensive than the parts and all of the tune-up process because his bike was $100 at Walmart and all of this is costing us $120, which is fine because he actually, I want to say the twins got their bikes when they turned nine. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it's going to be ready before six o'clock today and then we can just ride our bikes over there and grab it for him somehow, some way today. That's the plan. The guy's done working in the backyard. Um, he's not out there, so I'm not as embarrassed. So let me go out here and show you guys what we are working with out here. So there was grass back here. I have no proof of it whatsoever, but he's going to put turf out here. So this is prepped and ready to go also. Update, I think we're hauling dirt today. By we, I mean them. I had to come back inside. I had to go pee really quickly, but we are hanging out outside in the front yard. Um, the turf peoples, the landscaping folks left. Um, they'll be back tomorrow now. The gentleman had an appointment and he was like, I'm not gonna be able to work all day. I was like, oh yeah, no worries whatsoever. So that's done. I gotta do a little bit of work from, but I'm taking my laptop outside. Sticking out, didn't realize it looked like that. Anyway, I wanted to talk to you guys really quickly about the twins. So. They are actually at piano lessons right now. And I know quite some time ago, who great, great angle, Rosalind, great angle. I know quite some time ago, the boys, like we were talking about maybe not sending them to piano because they don't want to do piano and blah, blah, blah. Well, I told the twins, I was like, you know what guys, just troop it out for a little bit and we'll kind of see, you know, where it goes. Well, they did, they listened. I gave them advice. I said, it's kind of like taking a math class in school, right? Or English or whatever it may be chemistry like may, your subject that you have to take it's kind of like that you don't want to take it because it's something that you're learning I said but I promise you let's try it out for three months and then we'll see what happens well here we are approximately three months later give or take right and they are glued to the piano every living breathing moment that they have so I'm proud of them and also really glad that I called their piano teacher and I spoke to them and I was like listen I need some advice from you and here's the situation I'm in, what would you do? And that's what her advice was. She was like, it's not something that you want to do because you're great at it. It's something that you will love to do because you learn to be great at it. So they're loving piano. They're with their grandpa right now. They're gonna do their library trip. I'm out here with the rest of the stuff from the landscapers and Silas. I actually don't like leaving Silas out here by himself. Granted, like the neighbors are out here and stuff, but I don't feel like my neighbors responsibility is to watch my son so just had to go to the restroom really quickly i just tell him hey buddy stay in the yard which he was and then i'm back now had brian drop this off or malachi off to the bike shop oh it is hot then malachi and i got malachi's bike took the long way home and it is a lot warmer than i thought it was out there holy cow it's different when you're like just sitting in the driveway underneath tree. It's definitely also different when you're riding your bike, not facing the sun. And it's a whole different story when you're riding your bike, facing the sun. Granted, I have an electric bike, but I've been trying to like work on myself and make sure that I'm not just using the electric part of the bike. So I try to do like 50, 50. Cause like my leg muscles right here, they hurt so bad after I go on a bike ride. So I figured an electric bike for my birthday was like a 50-50 mix of just everything. So we are home now, definitely running a lot of lates for dinner, a lot of late because Ryan had to go into work for a little bit and him going into work wasn't what he anticipated when he went into it. So he's like pushed everybody's dinner off to the side. 
And now we're just starving, waiting for dinner, which will be okay. We decided to eat out today. We didn't want to order food until you got here so you can have warm dinner. And then his parents are over also, so we like to have one meal a week with them at least. And we haven't been able to have a meal with them for the last two weeks. So it was just like one thing after the other. So we all just are going to be hungry for a little bit longer. It'll all be okay at the end, but we're just kind of sitting here starving, but ignoring the fact that we're starving. What did you order? A burrito with no rice and beans. Who does that? Rice and beans is the best part. Exactly. Yeah. Jonah, he, doesn't even, he doesn't like them. I do. Yeah, he likes rice and beans. I feel like that's the best part. What did you get, Grammy? Casa Grammy, that's a retirement facility. Casa de Modesto. Is that where you want to go? Carne asada. I think you might have got carnita, though. I think you got carnita. Yeah. But is that pork or beef? Pork. Pork, yeah. But I thought that we were going to take care of you and we weren't going to send you to a nursing facility. But if that's the one you picked, you know. <laughs> Inside has got carnita tacos with no onions this time. What do you think? And then dad got a burrito. Jonah got a burrito. Ryan got a burrito. And I got carnita tacos also. I got the salsa and the tania, the cilantro on mine. So we can all... And no onions though for me. So we are going on a cruise. And what are you doing? Researching. He's researching things to do on a cruise that he might be interested in. What are you doing? I'm doing the same thing as that kid's doing. Uh, as that kid's doing. I'm Evan Nixon. I am a Nixon. I'm supposed to play this, but I didn't hear what So. Okay. <laughs> Good job, Grammy. And Silas is using up his screen time. So everybody's doing a little something. I am going to partner with my friend Nana Jo against Ryan and his dad, and we're going to play a game of hand and play. Love you lots. Our friend Joe's leaving. Ryan's dad's leaving. His stepmom's leaving. Well, in case you guys are wondering, our friend Joe and I were on a team. And then um, I think I said that Ryan and his dad were on a team with um, the game of cards that we were playing called Hand and Foot. But Ryan and his dad did not win. Joe and I won. So now they're home. I am going to start a little bit of a project upstairs because Ryan decided to clean the guest bedroom. And by cleaning the guest bedroom, that meant to take everything out of the guest bedroom and pile it in the hallway up here. So... Now I have to go through and figure out what to do with it because now all of his madness is stuck where all of the packing stuff for the cruise goes. So we're gonna be candid with you in just a minute and show you this madness in this house. Okay, not gonna lie, this pile, there's a method to it. This is my mess. This is my mess also. That's our COVID testing for a cruise that we have coming up. That's mine and then the travel suitcases, the carry-ons are mine also. And the rest of this business, minus this, everybody's contributed to. So, here we are. We gotta figure this out. These are Halloween costumes of the boys. Like, this is Ryan's when he was John Smith from Pocahontas. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is Silas's Halloween costume from when he was one. So his first Halloween, we made him a teddy bear. Oh my goodness so cute so like tell me that i should get rid of these or should i keep it i don't know i'm torn i don't know what to do nope. knock knock coming in that wasn't hard at all all of the piles were donate so that was simple and easy i'm having the boys go through their closet and find shirts that they no longer wear or love or like because i feel like we just have too many clothes that are mild to moderately not their size or they just kind of sit in the closet and they don't have like a love for it. So they're going through that and getting rid of that for me. The reason why I started that is because they're also transitioning. I can't believe this is happening, but we're switching out little baby hangers to big hangers now. Cause it just like, yeah, these smaller ones here. So we bought a whole bunch of them 
And now we're slowly going to switch them out to bigger ones. So I'm going to have them get rid of their clothes that they don't want. And then I bought them okay? all new clothes. So if you guys follow me on TikTok, I've done like an old Navy haul. I'm getting ready to do a Target haul for you guys. Those are the ones you don't want. Yeah. Okay. And then we're... This is not fit. Oh, uh, okay. Put that in Gorney's room. Ryan's a huge Seahawks fan. I know nobody wants to do anything. You can hang that up in your room. Okay, then you're gonna go to bed. Everybody's contributing, Silas. I don't want you to have a tough evening. Oh, do you guys have one child that doesn't want to do chores around the house and expects everybody else to do it? We're working on that. Take those off the hangers, boys. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a two fit bag started for you guys. And you can just leave that bag. This is two fit. Or that's okay. It doesn't have to be too big or too small. You don't. Also, if you're not going to wear it, you know what I mean? And just leave that two fit bag under your closet. So that is what's happening. My kids are getting too big. Too big. Um, and then I'm going to switch out the hangers eventually. They are right here hanging out to be switched out. I was also hanging on to, um, what do you call it? Halloween costumes of the kids that they no longer wear. So Silas is trying to jump up here. And I was like, what am I hanging on to that for? Like I picked up Silas's Halloween costume that he wore for the first time as a baby. I was like, oh no, that's gotta go. A six year old was injured in the making of this video. I tried to move him out of the way and I apparently clawed him to death, but <laughs> you have a shirt that you don't like to wear because it's a video game that I don't allow you to play, Fortnite. Yeah, and then also- Talk louder. And then also they'll ask us, like they'll compliment the shirt and Oh, remember this and this from whatever season and episode or whatever? So it's just, I don't remember. So then why do you wear this shirt? Yeah, I get it. It's like a lot of the younger kids are wearing like um, Metallica shirts, which is a band, like a music band or different ones. And people are like, oh, what's your favorite song from there? They're like, I don't listen to Metallica or I don't listen to ACDC. So why did yeah. you... Why yeah. do you have it on, right? Rachel yeah. has a shirt, ACDC. Who does? Rachel. Oh, yeah. She probably knows the songs from it, though. She does. So that doesn't offend me. If I buy you something and you don't want to wear it, you don't have to be secretive about it. Um, Can you put that in your closet, please? Not there. And then, Malika, will you just dump that downstairs, please? Just, we'll take care of it another time. Um, The, uh, the custom-made closet is done, except the doors were returned back. So this is what we're working with here. We just need a door put in there, which we'll get to when we get to. Um, you guys get into PJs. You're going to go to bed real soon, okay? Yeah. You want to play the piano? Okay. See? The kids are in love with piano, which is amazing. I love it. Right. So they changed the music that they've been playing compared to before they were kind of given whatever music give me a second before you start okay but that is that you guys the boys are the boys are getting older they're growing their styles their attitudes their um, interest everything is changing i'm so happy and i'm so proud of where they have come and all of that fun stuff we are low-key getting ready for a vacation not like today tomorrow or anything like that but we are getting ready for a vacation little by little i'm packing up tomorrow we have a huge event at the house we have a lot of people coming over our turf is in the middle of getting done can't wait to show you guys the final results of it but that is all for today's video you guys thank you so much for watching our vlogs and being part of us if you guys want just a little bit more of us follow us on instagram um and for a little bit more humor and a little bit more goofiness follow us on tiktok but for right now, that is it for today's video. Hopefully, we'll catch you guys on our next one. Bye for now.